putting button. Thank you very much, student. We are still proceeding. We want to finish up with the remaining transaction. Uh, I wanted to guys, I wanted you guys to to see on how are we gonna be calculating the cost price together with the trading stock. How did we get the selling price of two thousand while we have the cost? price of a thousand so i said the cost price percentage will always be a hundred percent the markup will be different now in order for us to get two thousand rent our markup it means that it was hundred now the selling price percentage is two hundred so let us take our markup our cost price is how much thousand rent in, in value in rents so it means that uh, the, the amount is thousand rent now it this uh, cost price actually emphasizes that when we bought other stock from other businesses the stock costed us a thousand rent so it came into our business building, uh, uh, into our business shelves with a, with a value of a thousand rent. Now, every time after you've stocked your stock from other businesses, you have to make what student? You have to make a profit. So markup represents the profit that you are about to make. You cannot buy the stock that is worth a thousand and still sell it with a thousand. It means that you don't want to make profit. It doesn't make sense. You, you don't want to make profit. Now, if you have the stock that, that you bought, that was costing you a thousand. You have to add something so that you can gain profit. So it means that now uh, we want to calculate what our selling price. So when you want to get the amount for selling price, we're going to use what we have, the thousand rand, and then we're going to also use a markup to get the selling price. We're going to use all these markups, the cost price percentage, markup percentage, together with the selling price percentage to get the 2000 rand, which is the selling price. The, the thousand is the cost price. We want to calculate the selling price. So take your calculator, punch 1000 rand, and then multiply with the what you want the selling price. Thousand multiply by 200%, which is the selling price percentage. Divide it with what you have, which is the cost price percentage. Thousand multiply by 200, divide by 100. How much do you get? Thousand multiply by two hundred percentage divide by hundred. How much do you get? Two thousand. Powerful. This is what we call power. Now you got your two thousand. Can you see how did we get this two thousand? So the stock came into our business shelves with a thousand rent, but we said no, we cannot sell the stock, and then again receive a thousand rent from our customer. We need to add something. So can you kindly just tell us how much profit do, are, are we gonna gain here? Take a thousand. Take this two thousand and then minus a thousand now it means that the markup amount will be how much two thousand a thousand yes two thousand minus 10, a thousand you will get a thousand can you see now from this thousand you added a thousand in order for you to get two thousand now it means that this thousand is the profit of your business does it make sense mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. it does someone says okay it seems like she, she, she did grab the explanation you see student this is how i move I, I cannot do something that it seems like I don't actually understand what I'm doing. So this is how we calculate things. And you have to know that the cost price percentage will never change. The cost price percentage will just a check for the cash register. Catch a check for the cash register, right? So you go and highlight, catch a check for the cash register, right? Cash register is a machine. So you are buying a cash register, CPJ. Cash register is a machine. Now, when you receive the machine in your business account to be debited, you're going to go and debit the asset, which is the cash register, is the asset that you are buying, cash register. It's a machine, till machine that you are buying, cash register, it's a machine. You can just write cash register or just say a machine. Can you see? We know that a machine is an asset, a machine. Can you see? Right. When you buy a machine, asset not to be debited. More machine is increasing in your business. So, a machine falls under asset. What type of an asset is a machine? Non-current asset. Non asset. Yes, it's a machine, something that will uh, last for a long period of time in your business building, right? So every time when you buy something, where do you take money? Check, the way check will affect what? Your bank account. Check will affect your bank account. It means that money is leaving the bank account because you are buying a cash register, a machine in your business building shelves. You are done, right? The second one, number 18, received cash for service rendered. The way to receive it always tells you that money is coming into your business. Catch a receipt, general. 
CR is for cash receipt journal because you are receiving cash. Cash it means money. Received money for service rendered. Which book, journal, cash receipt journal. Every time when you receive money, what happened? The bank account needs to be debited. You are debiting your bank account with the money that comes inside of your business building. Can you see? Bank is increasing. What type of an asset is bank? Bank is an asset, specifically current asset. Right. So another account to be credited, service rendered. Service rendered falls under income account. Service rendered falls under, will be credited. It falls under equity is an income account. Powerful, right? Paid water and electricity. When you pay for something, money leaves the business bank account. CPJ, right? When bank, when you lose money, bank needs to be credited. Can you see? When you lose money, we don't have a bank account here. Bank account, every time when you buy something, we record this side. So what is it that you are paying? So you use your bank account to pay for what? To pay for W. And T, water and electricity. And right. How much maybe was this water and electricity? Maybe you paid the municipality 3,000 rand. Now it means that you are saying you used your business bank account to pay for what? WT, water and electricity. How much was the amount that you paid to the municipality? It was 3,000 rand. You go and also open the water and electricity account. Can you see? It's an expense. Water and electricity. Right. Water and electricity is an expense account. It falls under owner's equity. Since well, the first account is being credited, but by nature, student, the first account that we need to deal with is the one that we need to debit. Now, last uh, after debiting the first account, that's when we can deal with the credit account. But for now, I'm just showing you how to record this. So can you see, we are saying, you yourself, you, you said you used your business bank account. What is it that you paid? You paid for water and electricity. How much was the water? It was 3,000 rand. Your business bank account has decreased. Now, you open another T account of what? Of something that you are paying for. Water and electricity. How did you pay for this water and electricity? You took the money from the bank account. How much did you take in order for you to pay for this water electricity? You took 3,000 rent from the bank account. You are done. However, when expense increases on the debit side, it makes the owner's equity to decrease on the credit side. That's why... Uh, we will actually debit what water and electricity water and electricity because it's an expense when we debit expenses expenses will increase but expenses fall away under owner's equity when uh, owners when expenses increases it makes owner's equity account to decrease so uh, the word paid affect the bank account so the bank account will decrease we will credit the bank account and bank is an asset specifically current asset the last item, owners increase this capital contribution. Is there anyone maybe who would like to try this one? Which journal, when you as the owner increase your capital contribution, which book or journal are you going to be recording this account? The cash receipt channel. Cash receipt channel. Can you yeah. see now? Right. Yeah. You are contributing money into your business. You. It says the owner, it is you. You are giving money. You're increasing your business money. Which, yes. business, which account will be affected? The equity account because owner's equity yes. is being controlled by you, the owner of the business. So when you contribute money, the money will go where? Every time when you, you give your business money, money will be going where? To your? Will debit the bank, bank account. Bank account will be debited. Thank you very much, my beloved student. Bank account will be debited. It increases with money. Someone, someone wrote something to the chat box. I will just check. So... A bank will increase. So when bank increases, we know that a bank falls under asset, specifically under current asset. We are done with bank. Right. Let us also finish up with the... Uh, right. Right. Can you see now? Bank is being debited. We are saying we are receiving money. Let us go and receive it in the general ledger format. So we're going to say, uh, for what? We are receiving money from where? Capital affect the account of the owner. So we're going to say, let us just say, the owner contributed how much? 10,000 rand. Can you close your mic? Kindly close your mic and then you can talk to your family because the mic, once you open it, we all can hear what you are saying. So it's better you close it. Right, right. A check here. Can you see bank is being debited when the owner contributes money, whenever you give your business money. This way, capital contribution, especially capital. When you see the word capital, you must think about yourself. The word capital, it says you are giving money to your business. Right. Money will go straight to the bank account of the business. So let us receive the money that you are contributing, 10000 into your business. We are saying we are using the bank account of the business. We know that bank falls under asset. So the money has to increase on our left-hand side. Where does this money come from? You are telling us. Capital, we already know that this money is coming from you as the owner. You are giving your business money. How much are you contributing? You are giving your business 10000 rand. 
when you start up a business, you can still say, oh, I have opened a business bank account, but my business doesn't have money. You are going to your personal bank account. You are saying, let me just take 10,000 from my personal bank account and deposit it and contribute it and give it to my bank business bank account. So we are saying in your business bank account, you are debiting your bank account. Where does this, this money comes from? Capital account actually says that this money is being contributed by the owner of the business, which is you. How much are you contributing? 10,000 rand. We open another account, which is what? The capital account. Can you see? The bank account is being debited by the capital and we also open another account called capital. This account are married. They are working together interchangeably, right? We are saying capital account is an equity account. Equity increases on the credit side and the capital account will also increase on the credit side. And then uh, can you see equity increases on the credit side and it decreases on the debit side capital account increases on the credit side decreases on the debit side because it falls under owner's equity owner's equity is the account that controls capital account right remove here what will be happening since well bank is being debited obviously the capital account will be if the first account it is being be debited, debited the second account will be what it will be created powerful can you see student Nothing is difficult. Once you have debited the first account, already your mindset must tell you that it cannot be that. If I have debited my first account, my second account must also be debited. It's wrong. In accounting, the first account needs to be DR, the second account needs to be CR. Debit for credit. If you have recorded in your left-hand side, your left-hand side, the other account that you need to go and record, it has to be your right-hand side. Can you see? The first account is, is left-hand side. The second account is the right-hand side. This is the proper, accurate recording of accounting. So we are saying this capital account, it is being increased by what? Details tell us what is it that increases the capital account. Bank account is the one that increases the capital account. So capital account is being increased by the bank account. The money that went straight to the bank account of the business. How much? 10, I think it's 10,000 rand. Yes, 10,000 rand. Can you see? Now we have recorded correctly. The bank account, your business bank account is being increased by the capital account. Money contributed by you, the owner. How much did you contribute to the bank account? 10,000 rand. You go and open the capital account that falls under owner's equity. Now, every time the capital account, you know, when you contribute or give the give your business money, uh, where does this money goes to? It goes to the bank account. How much? 10,000 rand is being credited. Now, how do you feel as the owner when your bank account increases? You feel happy. And then when the capital account also increases, the owner's equity or equity account increases. Every time when the equity account increases, it means that you have to feel happy. Every time when the bank account increases, it means that you have to feel happy. It means that there is a, a good process, uh, a progress that is happening in your business. Mm -hmm.